Hey everybody, today I want to share with you a cool way that I found out of making these cool drawing animations. I have it here somewhere in my video. But the cool thing about it is that I made it in Photoshop instead of Adobe After Effects. Now Adobe After Effects is better for longer videos, but if you have a clip or a picture that lasts around 15 seconds, 20 seconds, no longer than 20 seconds, Photoshop is actually a really great way. So you've probably seen this effect before in music videos and lyric videos, but if you want to try it out for Instagram clips or just short clips, Photoshop is great because it's just clean, quick, and then the cool thing is that you can export it and then take them into other video editing software instead of just waiting for After Effects to render forever. I don't know, it's just something you might want to try. So I want to show you one that I made a couple of days before. This is with a still, a picture. Um, you can also do it with videos. So this is a little example of what can be done. I think it's pretty cool in my opinion. The squiggly lines don't have too many details. But that's just me, I don't really know how to draw. You can probably do something way better than I can. Another cool thing you can do is just export the animations themselves. So you can take them into another software and just use them there. I think it's pretty cool. So for this type of edit, you might wanna use a pen tablet. If you don't have one, don't worry. You can use your mouse or your mouse pad I'll leave a link in the description for the one I use. But if you're an illustrator, a graphic designer, an animator, a photographer, this is amazing to do your refine adjustments or just animate stuff or draw stuff. So to edit a video in Photoshop, first you open Photoshop, then you just want to open your video. and it will already make an animation track. Now, if you wanna do a picture and you don't know how to do a video timeline, let me show you how. So you just wanna open. The picture, a custom file. And you go to window. You see here where it says timeline that's where you want to go that's where you want to go to open up the timeline and then you hit create video timeline you see and there you go they already made a five second clip of this picture and it's 30 frames per second you can go over here and switch or change the frame rate Or you can just open a video on Photoshop. So once you have your picture or your video on a timeline, you're gonna want to go to layer, video layers, and new blank video layer. This is where you'll be making the animation themselves. You don't wanna just create a normal layer, you want to do a video layer so that way you can animate it frame by frame because if you just do a normal layer it won't change frame by frame and it will always be stuck it sounds weird but you want to do a video layer so once you have your new video layer you just want to zoom it zoom in zoom in so you can see all of the frames and actually Let's find a place in the video where we want to start our animation. How about around here, four seconds. Yep, I want my animation to start there. So now, you are gonna want to create a new layer, not a video layer, just a normal layer. and add a font or lettering that you want. Over 
here. And just write something that you want to animate. And let's resize that quickly. We're gonna want them here, right in the middle. So once you have your video layer, your text, and the timeline, you're gonna want to reduce the opacity of your text by a little bit, not too much, like 40, 60 percent. And also, you can do this with logos, fonts, drawings. It doesn't have to be just with text. So you reduce the opacity. Now you zoom in here in the video timeline. Let me just move this over here for four seconds. So you want to make sure that your text and the video layer are matching up. So now you go to your video layer and you select the brush tool. This is what I like to use to paint in the animation. So I like to zoom in so I can have details. And now taking consideration that this is an animation, it goes frame by frame. So that is very important to do to know. So you create a brush tool that you want. So I'm gonna make mine a little smaller. And I'm just gonna go through it quickly for the sake of the video. It's not gonna be the cleanest one. Right, you just start painting out inside the lines. And you don't wanna do the letter, the, you don't wanna do the whole letter. You just wanna do it by section, so that way it looks like it's been drawn on. You got that. And if you want to see what the previous layer looks like, you can go over here and enable onion skins. That way when you go to your next layer, it shows you a little shadow of what you have painted in the layer before. So I think that's pretty cool. But a quick suggestion is that if you want to preview what your video looks like, you might want to turn it off. I'll show you to how to do that in a second here. So once you painted the previous frame, you go to the next one. And you can see over here where it has been painted on. So you just paint there. And you continue painting the rest of the letter. We'll just paint, we'll just paint this section here. You're gonna want to paint where it makes sense not all over the place, just start by sections of the letter. That way, eventually it's gonna look like it's been drawn on. So now we got those two. I'm just gonna keep on going. And there we go. Now, after a couple of minutes, not too long actually, and a couple of frames, eight frames, we have a first word. A first word. Let's see. Let's zoom out. Turn this off. Turn off the onion skins. And let's see how it looks. You hit play, and boom, you can already see the M appearing, so that's good. Let's go see it again one more time, all right, good. So now you just continue with the rest of the words or the letters. The longer the words or the letter or the phrase, the longer the time it will take, but it is totally worth it. Let me just get through it for you
And there you go. We just did the whole first word. It's about 16 frames. Let's see. See how it looks. Oof, so we already got the first word to appear. Now we just want it to stay. So to make it so it stays, you just want to go to the last frame where you had it. You're gonna want to make a cut there. So it'll create it in another layer copy. And then just keep drawing the whole word for a couple of more frames in. So once you redraw the last frame for like about the next six frames, you just want to duplicate that layer. You duplicate it, duplicate it and move it to the side. And you keep doing that until you have like about two seconds or three seconds worth of animation. It sounds crazy, but it works. So once you duplicate all of the layers, you just want to make them into a group. That way it's not so messy. Okay. Zoom out. And let's see how it looks. Boom, and there we got it. Let's turn off that text so we can see it without it. Boom. It's not the cleanest, but I just did it quickly for you guys. Now you can definitely make this effect in Photoshop. And it also works for pictures too. The same thing. You go to layer, video layers new black video layers. You don't need text or a logo. I just like drawing over a text or a logo. That way I can make a clean drawing since I'm not an artist that way. But you can do many things. You might want to experiment for yourself. You can do squiggly lines, cartoon animations, drawings, titles, logos. It's up to you what you can do, to be honest. Let me show you how to explore it though. So once you have your video, you go to here and you hit render video select the folder you want to rent send it to i'm just gonna send it over here and hit render There we have it. That's how you can make your own custom drawing titles. Or logos. Or drawings. Or doodles. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you were able to learn something. Let me know if you have any questions or confusions. This is my first edit video. So it wasn't that easy. But I'll be making more. I'll answer to your replies. To your comments. To your emails. Make sure you try out a pen tablet. And... Stay tuned for next week. Well, I have hopefully a new video for you guys. I definitely will.